This video will discuss the term symbols for a given state of the hydrogen atom. So term symbols are what we use to represent electronic states. For atoms in general, I'm going to discuss that in the next chapter, how we compute term symbols for a general atom. That's a slightly more complicated uh, way of determining that. But for hydrogen atoms, it is a much simpler algorithm. So a term symbol we indicate by the following type of thing. We have a superscript on the left, which is 2s plus 1. So for a single electron, s equals 1 half. So 2s plus 1, which is called the multiplicity, is going to be 2. 2 times 1 half plus 1 is 2. Which is 2 is the multiplicity of a single electron because it can only be spin up or spin down. So for our hydrogen atom, s being 1 half, we're always going to have a 2 up here, which is a doublet state. Then this capital letter is L. L goes from 0 up to whatever we like, representing s, p, d, f, etc. So L equals 1, p, L equals 2, d, but we represent it by the, the capital letter representing that value of L. Then we have a subscript in the bottom right, and that is going to be whatever value of J we have for this combination of L and S. All right, J, let's remind ourselves, the total, orb, the total angular momentum uh, quantum number is determined by the values of the orbital angular momentum quantum number L and the spin angular momentum quantum number S. J goes from the absolute value of L plus S down to the absolute value of L minus S. So for a single electron, S is always 1 half. So J can only be L plus 1 half and L minus 1 half. Or I really should say the absolute value of those two. Because if L is 0, L, J can only be 1 half. All right, then the value of M sub J, the Z component of the total angular momentum, goes from minus j up to j, descending as integers or half integers. So if we have an electron in, let's say, for example, an s state, so 1s orbital, that would be a doublet, because s is 1 half, 2s plus 1 is 2, doublet s, and for s, l equals 0, so the only possible value of j is 1 half. So an electron in a 1s state is doublet s 1 half m sub j can equal plus or minus one half. For a 2p state, or a 3p, or a 4p, etc., we have s is still equal to one half, so we have doublet p for both cases, l equals one. And then for j, it's one plus a half and one minus a half, so doublet p three halves, doublet p one half. Four states here for m sub j, plus and minus three halves, plus or minus one half. Two states here for j, m sub j plus or minus one half. For something in a d orbital, that's a doublet d, j can either be five halves, two plus a half, or three halves, two minus one half. Uh, ten possible values of m sub j between the two states here, six for five halves and four for three halves. For an f function, you have doublet f seven halves and doublet f five halves, three plus one half and three minus one half. And the values of m sub j, there's either eight possibilities for j equals seven halves, or and six possibilities for j equals five halves. So that's the basics of term symbols for hydrogen atoms. It always has to be a doublet because there's only one electron. The value of L is just going to equal the value of the quantum number L for that orbital. And j is either going to be L plus a half or L minus one half.